Hey guys, it's me. I'm finally back. I think it's been a couple months since I've posted my last doctrinal video, uh, but I want to finish up this series talking about the doctrine that we believe here at Christian Fellowship Church as based on our webpage. And so if you would go to our webpage and look up uh, what we believe here, you'll find a Doctrine on the Return of Christ. Now, this, this doctrine is a doctrine that um, I love. I love it because it's, it's wrapped up in hope. Uh, the Savior that came and died and rose again and ascended into heaven promised that he would come back again one day. And so I am, I am so excited to talk about that doctrine. Uh, let me read to you what our website says, it says, We believe in the blessed hope, the personal, imminent return of Christ, who will rapture his church prior to the seven-year tribulation period. At the end of the tribulation, Christ will personally and visibly return with his saints to establish his earthly messianic kingdom, which was promised to the nation of Israel. And so we here at Christian Fellowship Church also believe in that blessed hope that Jesus Christ will return in bodily form. Uh, the book of Revelation says that he will step foot on the Mount of Olives and that Mount of Olives will split. Uh, it's a literal, physical return of Christ in bodily form. That's not a spiritual return. It's not his essence that returns. It will be Jesus Christ, the resurrected Jesus Christ himself, who comes back, and we believe that. And he's going to come first to call his saints. And 1 Thessalonians 4 says that uh, he calls uh, the saints who are living during the church age up to meet him in the clouds. And then after that, the Antichrist will sign a covenant with the nation of Israel. And that signing of the covenant will start a tribulation period of seven years. And we read about that in Matthew chapter 24. A horrible things are going to take place. It's going to be awful. There's going to be severe persecutions, severe famines, severe plagues. And it's going to culminate into a battle in the valley of Megiddo called the Battle of Armageddon. And at the end of that Battle of Armageddon, uh, actually, at the beginning of that battle of Armageddon, when it looks like there's no hope left left for the nation of Israel, Christ is going to come back and miraculously save that nation. And uh, we believe that wholeheartedly here. We're looking forward to that. Uh, we hold on to it with, with all of our hearts. And then after he does that, uh, we believe that he is going to set up his messianic kingdom. Uh, that'll be the millennial period. This is where it talks about the lion laying down with the lamb, uh, the, the bear grazing like, a, like cattle, like an ox in the field. Uh, the curse is literally going to be lifted. Christ is going to be king. He's going to be ruling and reigning for a thousand years uh, with his saints, with those who have placed their faith in him. And it's going to be a glorious time. It's going to be uh, uh, just a time and. When it's like pre, pre-curse, it's going to be wonderful. And so we believe that here. We believe in the blessed hope, the personal imminent return of Christ, who will rapture his church prior to the seven-year tribulation period. Uh, saints ain't going to go through that. They're not going to have to deal with that. Uh, at the end of the tribulation, Christ will personally and visibly return with his saints. We're going to come back with him. Uh, he's going to... Uh, lock Satan up in the pit for a thousand years. There's going to be peace on earth. It's going to be a wonderful time for the next thousand years. At the end of that thousand years, uh, Satan's going to be released. Uh, there's going to be one more uprising, and then Christ is going to crush that, and he's going to establish um, a new heaven and a new earth, and Satan will be locked in a lake of fire for all of eternity. And that's what we believe here at Christian Fellowship Church about the return of Jesus Christ. Oh,